In this video, I'm going to show you how can we prove the Newton's first law of motion from the Newton's second law of motion. I hope you know already what is Newton's first law and Newton's second law. Uh, Newton's first law, let me remind you once again, Newton's first law says that if we are not applying force to any object, suppose, suppose here is an object, all right, here is an object, and if I'm applying the force to this object, then definitely this will move, right? And Newton's law says that if we are not applying any force, if there is no force on an object, then if the object is at rest, it will be on rest. And if the object is initially, uh, if the object is initially, you know, moving, if it is moving initially, then if you do not apply any force, then it will continue to move. It will continue to move, right? It will continue to move. So these things happen until and unless you're not applying any force. So uh, in the absence of the force, if uh, if an object is moving, then it will continue to move. And if an object is in the rest, it will be on rest, all right? Very simple. Like if I'm sitting on my chair and if no one is going to push me or pull me, then I will be sitting on my chair. Or if I'm moving and if no one is going to stop me from the front, then definitely I will be still, uh, I mean, I'll, I will be going on. And that's the Newton's, Newton's uh, first law of motion. But these things I have uh, told, you know, this is 100% accurate uh, in the case of the vacuum if there is uh, nothing disturbances at all. But in the case of Earth, if you see, uh, if someone is moving, then uh, without applying any force also, without we are applying any force, still the object get stopped because there are a lot of disturbing factors like air, friction, and many more things, all right? Don't think that I'm not applying, but environment may be applying uh, indirectly some forces. So you just uh, understand all kinds of forces. If all kinds of, it means if the presence of all kinds of forces is zero, then that time if the object, object is at rest, then it will be on rest, and if it is moving, and then it will be moving. This is the Newton's first law of motion, all right? And Newton's second law of motion speaks that, uh, if I'm applying a certain force to an object, let's say this is an object and apply the force, all right, I apply the force F, let's say, then that force, the amount of that force is equivalent to the mass of that, all right, how much mass we have here, times the acceleration gained by that object, all right, the acceleration gained by the object. So force is equivalent to the mass times the acceleration, and in short, we used to write F equals to M times A. And now, we need to prove the Newton's first law, that if there is no force, all right, so I'm supposing if force equals to zero, what will happen? Then, then it will be zero, you know? I mean, mass times acceleration will be zero. And everybody know that mass cannot be zero, uh, since mass of an object can't be zero, since mass can't be zero, can't be zero, because matter cannot be zero, so definitely, acceleration should be zero and if acceleration should be zero then there are two things you know and the two cases acceleration can be zero all right uh, the two cases of acceleration being zero is one object is not moving object is not moving and second case is object is object is not changing not changing the not changing the velocity not changing the velocity or speed you can say right not changing the velocity because the, def uh, the definition of the acceleration says that it's, it's the rate of the change of the velocity. Means acceleration is actually how much velocity is changing in how much time, all right? What is the change in velocity in, the, in certain course of time? So if there is no change in velocity, means change in velocity is zero, then definitely zero divide, like, like it has been one hour, but still the motion is same, you know? Like, like my object is moving, my object is moving initially 25 kilometer per hour and it has been one hour and still the object is moving with the same speed 25 kilometer per hour so it means uh, the object is having a uniform speed you know so that is what i'm saying so either object is not changing the velocity or object is not moving and now if you if you uh, if you analyze this from the first law of motion then exactly you'll get the statement of the uh, first law of motion if force is zero, means if external force on an object is zero, all right, if this is my object, and if external force on this object is zero, if external force is zero, then either object is not moving, means object is not moving, it means it is at rest, all right, or object is not changing its velocity, means object's velocity is constant, it's constant velocity, all right, constant velocity. 
So this is what the first law is saying. If external force is zero, then the object at rest will continue to be rest. And if the object is at motion, will continue to be in motion with the same speed, with the same velocity. All right. So, so that's what the Newton's first law says. And this is this is Newton's. This is uh, called the Newton's first law. All right. This is Newton's first law. All right. So once again, let me sum up. If the external force applied on an object is zero, then if the object is at rest it will be on rest and if the object is moving with certain speed then it will be moving on that speed all right and that's called the statement of the newton's first law and i hope you understand how to prove the newton's first law from uh, or, or applying the newton's second law all right see you in the next video goodbye and don't forget to subscribe the channel